This is not your everyday spacesuit. It's made up of dozens of paintings from children around the world. And yes, thanks in part to Clearwater astronaut Nicole Stott, some of these colorful suits have been in space. This company that made my spacesuit that I did a spacewalk in, the Apollo suits, the suits that are going to take us back to the moon, ILC Dover, they've been volunteering with us since the very beginning to quilt them together into these beautiful suits. Stott was a part of two space shuttle missions and spent weeks on the International Space Station. It was while aboard the ISS she became the first astronaut to paint with watercolors while in space. Her work was inspired by this island off the coast of Venezuela. Now, since retiring from NASA, Stott helped start the Space for Art Foundation. She says its mission is to inspire and unite children around the world with space-themed art therapy. Mostly in hospitals, refugee centers, orphanages. We started in one hospital in Houston, and now our last suit that we created, Beyond, has artwork from at least one child in 192 countries. After living in Houston for 20 years, Stott is back in Pinellas County. She's worked with kids in hospitals and schools around the Bay Area. I really feel like, um, you know, I got to go to space so I could come back to work, Earth and work on projects like this and see how we thoughtfully expand on that. Whether it's working with kids or visiting with people at Booker Creek Preserve, Stott is grounded on Earth these days, but still dreaming of what's next. If she ever gets an invite back to space for a trip to the moon, she says she's all in. In Pinellas County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.